There we go. There we go. Good morning. Great morning. Great morning. I'm only like, you know, 25 minutes behind. It's funny. I woke up this morning and I thought it was four o'clock and I looked at the clock and it said 5.02. It's like, well, <laughs> what can you do at that point? You know, I can either have a choice. I can either wake up reactive like I used to, not going back to that. Or I can just say, well, I will get on the video when I can and go with the flow. So I chose the second one. I chose to be grateful for waking up, period. I chose to be grateful to be here and to be grateful to even be able to do these videos. So with that being said, Lord, thank you so much for waking us up this morning. Thank you for everything that you provide for us. Thank you for your wisdom and your grace and your mercy. Thank you for your constant guidance. Thank you for redirection when we tend to go astray. Thank you for the people that you've placed around us that help us become better versions of ourselves every day. Lord, thank you for the ability to keep going when time seems so hard. Thank you for giving us the strength, but also knowing that we can rely on you when we don't have enough strength in us. Thank you for always being there. Thank you for never letting us down. Thank you for walking beside us in the trenches and lifting us up when we need it. Thank you, Lord. We honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, yes, yes. If you are up, if you are able to watch this video, then you are blessed and your purpose is greater. So stand in that and knowing that. Last week I was reading a devotional, <clears throat> seven things the Bible says about anxiety. Today is day four. I actually waited to finish it. There's seven days total, so we'll finish it up this week, but I wanted to wait until I did this video to go through it again. So today we start with Zephaniah chapter three, verse 17. It says, with his love, he will calm all your fears. I want to also read the verse of today verse 4 today it's Philippians chapter 3 verses 10 through 11 it says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his offerings I'm sorry his sufferings being conformed to his death if somehow I may attain to the resurrection from the dead what does that verse mean to you I will probably have to read it a few times, but I definitely, you know, it's hard to believe things when you don't see them, but if you think about how we were as children, we were dreamers, we had imaginations. I posted that video of my daughter the other day, and, and if you really, really watch that video, it's not just a cute video of a kid, right? It's a video of a child with an imagination. And that is powerful. So somewhere along the way in our lives, we lost our imagination. 
many of us. And we had to see in order to believe. The problem with that is we miss out on a lot of things that way. Sometimes we can believe before we see. So when you think about the resurrection of Jesus, none of us saw that, but we can believe it. And it can be meaningful to us. So just think about that. This devotional today, it says in the book of Romans, Paul says that the moment you confess Jesus, Jesus is your Lord and Savior, you are adopted into God's family and he becomes your father. God is no ordinary father. Your earthly father is human and sinful, which means that he has let you down in the past and that he will likely let you down in the future. God is perfect and good. He will never let you down. Zephaniah three seventeen describes your heavenly father's incredible love for you. He is with you. He delights in you and he rejoices over you. Zephaniah says that God is also your protector and your comforter. With his love, he will calm all your fears. Psalm 139 says that God has been with you since you first started growing in your mother's womb and that he will be with you wherever you go. You are the masterpiece of his creation and he is your greatest supporter as you discover and live out all that he has created you to be. Picture this. A child is laying in bed, fast asleep, while a thunderstorm is growing in, an, in intensity as the night goes on. A sudden crash of lightning and thunder startles the child from sleep, and after a cry for help, a loving father rushes in and wraps his arms around the child. Just like that parent, God is always available to you. In his love, he will calm all your fears. So for me, I've talked about this before. I didn't grow up with the best father figure. And so to believe that I had this amazing father was very difficult for me. But if I can believe it, so can you. Does it take work? Yes. Does it take effort? Yes. <laughs> Does it take wanting to believe it? Yes. Does it take desire? Does it take daily, daily work? Yes, yes, and yes, yes. <laughs> All of that. But I knew that I didn't want to go back to who, to what I used to be as far as allowing things to destroy me. And this was something that I hadn't tried yet. So that's why I am where I am. And I understand that not everybody is there and that's okay. I'm just grateful that I'm around people that accept me for who I am. Find your tribe. Find the people who will accept you for who you are. <coughs> Excuse me. Sneezing on camera. <laughs> All right, so Zephaniah 3, 17, the Lord your God is in your midst, a victorious warrior. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will be quiet in his love. He will rejoice over you with shouts of joy. Psalms 139, I'm just going to read all of this. It's verses 13 through 18. It says, for you created my innermost parts. You wove me in my mother's womb. I will give thanks to you because I am awesomely and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works and my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully formed in the depths of the earth. Your eyes have seen my formless substance and in your book were written all the days that were ordained for me, when as yet there was not one of them. 
How precious also are your thoughts for me, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Psalm 139 verse 14 you know, some versions say beautifully and wonderfully made. That verse, that definitely started my journey of believing in myself more and building the self-confidence little by little. And it still does. So if you have not looked at that verse, I highly encourage you to do so. It's a good one for sure. All right, there we go. I was like, where's my book? My daily book. I need to clean off my desk. I have a lot going on, so I have not done that yet. All right. So here we are. It is August the 8th. It says, God wants to draw us close. God's comfort. This is Jeremiah 31 and 3. It says, long ago, the Lord said to Israel, I have loved you, my people, with an everlasting love. With unfailing love, I have drawn you to myself. Psalm 25, 6 says, remember, O Lord, your compassion and unfailing love which you have shown from long ages past. It says, when my sons were learning how to walk, I sometimes stood a distance away, stretching out my arms and smiled with delight when they ran to me. I held out my arms because I wanted to draw them close. That is the picture Jeremiah paints of God in Jeremiah 31 and three. Throughout history, God has reached towards each of us with his compassion and love. Although we don't physically see his arms or feel them wrap around us, he fills our hearts with love. How? Through the presence of his Holy Spirit, one of his gifts to all who believe in Christ. That's good. Well, you guys, we made it through the weekend. Today is Monday. I truly pray that you have an amazing day and just remember when everything around you seems like it's crashing you are here for a true purpose that is bigger than probably what you can imagine and that's why we go through these things we're being prepared so at the end of the day don't let the little things get to you focus on the good in your life and keep going. It will get better. Praying for you. Praying for all of us. I pray for the world. I pray for things that are going on in the world. I'm not going to get too far into that, but pay attention to what's around you. Make someone feel good, feel good today. Say good morning, good afternoon, whatever it looks like. Make someone smile today because in turn, that's going to make you smile. We can't be in a bad mood if we're smiling. I don't think that that even works out very well. So just remember that. All right. Be the light for someone else when you're going through your stuff. That's what I have to remember. The music in the background real quick is from Kyle Lovett Music. It's called Consuming Fire. And this channel is really awesome, so I do highly encourage you to go follow it. It's Kyle Lovett Warfare and Worship Music. All right. Thank you for tuning in, and God bless you as you go out and about throughout your day. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>